hold this in there. Reading the wrong address. changed big time since you saw it you'll see when I do the filming fogs and then eventually the full remodel tour hopefully it's in hopefully it's in focus Ooh, this one's a little tougher than the last one there we go Handle with extreme care. So that's what I'm going to do. Extreme care. Put it on the table ever so slowly. Of course, I can just do that to that box. So, what do you think it is? Again, the title's going to tell you. Spoil it. The old one. First generation, at least that I know of. Based on the Smoke Guard 800A design. There's the alarm test. low battery test which of course you've seen on their other models which I have and you'll see in a bit and there's the bracket it's pretty cool and here's the back you use six double A's Probably late 70s. I think this is after a Statutrol part of company with Teledyne Waterpick. Actually, if you read Dwayne Pearsall's biography, you'd see Teledyne in a whole different way as far as the smoke alarms. And what they did with Statutrol. Here we go, well, the lies, here's the lies. But anyway, and if you wanna read further, just pause. I'll be reading it later on, more thoroughly. And I did, I did a bit of that. I'm sound like Porky Pig there. I do have a set of batteries. Bought them yesterday. The smoke test. I like how, I like how it looks like there's divisions in there, but there aren't my divider bars. Okay. Getting hot up here. It's going to be really hot and humid today. And it's as long as a severe storm as possible. Get 
battery or polarity. Every few seconds instead of a minute. One last page there. Not just the CSFM. All right, let's look at the inside. There's your dual centric chamber from the Kobishi horn. That looks like the smoke guards. And I think this can, might come off, maybe not. Squeaks. All right, I'm gonna grab my batteries, my air plugs, air protection, and let's power this bad boy up. There we go. You just open the door up like, just like the 800A. Which of course, this is based on the 800A, so. Maybe a little more than the 805. You know, the 805 with nine volt and had a, didn't have the low battery signal. Ooh, that was kind of hard. Kind of hard to do. Let's try on the other side. All right. The battery pull thing was kind of preventing them from going in, or staying in, I should say. All right, it might chirp. Nope. Do the little battery test first. I can feel it. Now do the full test. Maybe. Hmm. Let's say. Huh. Well, that's weird. That works perfectly. That light works. So there's the thing. Huh. I can't get the test. Okay. Now it works. <laughs> well, there you go. I was about to say I can't get the test to work, but maybe it just had a warm up period or something. I didn't say anything about that in here. Or if it did, I didn't read it because I haven't read that fully. But now I have all three generations of families that I know of at least. You have the A375 here. And then the 869 or 8964. This is based off the 809. And of course the 9309, which is based on the BRK. So now let's do all low battery tests. And it's gonna be hard. Here we go. Now we'll take them into the other room and do a full test of all three of them. Okay, I'm going on my, my bed. I'm not gonna have my iPad holder. That's gonna be hard. No. Hopefully you're seeing it, maybe not. So 
there you go. Again, maybe you saw that, maybe you didn't. So there you go, folks. Anyway, and we, the 8375, I think. Yeah, it, EA375. One more test. You can see that the pilot light comes on continuously. Really dim though, here. Going to the bathroom. Oh, now it doesn't want to test again. Well, I think you saw it anyway. There you go. So anyway, there you go, the 83705. 83705? 8, 8375. Thanks for watching.